Now let's go over some vocabulary for circles. A minor arc is shorter than a semicircle. The measure of a minor arc is the measure of its corresponding central angle. A major arc is any arc larger than a semicircle. A semicircle is half a circle. A diameter is a segment that contains the center of the circle and has both endpoints on the circle. A radius is a segment that has one endpoint at the center and the other endpoint on the circle. Let's do a couple of example problems. The first example problem will be of the circle. The formula of a circle is x minus h to the second plus y minus k to the second equals r2. The first step is to substitute the h, the k, and the r. The next step is to bring the equation down. So y minus negative 2, you combine them to get positive 2. And the 7 to the second power equals to 49. The next example will be about central angles. This is a diagram and in each number in the diagram you must turn it into a decimal. So 30 will be into 0 0.39 into 0 0.09, 20 into 0 0.20, 7 into 0 0.7, 18 into 0.18, 15 into 0.15. After you turned it into a decimal, you multiply it by 360 because the whole circle is equal to 360. So 0 0.30 times 360 is going to equal to 108. You do that to all the other decimals, multiply it by 360, and those are the answers you should get. Another example is inscribed angles. This is a diagram. You use sign to solve this diagram. So you get the 15 and 17 from the diagram. The 17 is right there. And you divide the 30 to get 15 on both sides. You use one of those 15 and divide it into 17. Once you get that, you should get 0 0.8824. Then you look on your on your paper and you look for sine and the angle and you might not be able to see it but it says 0 0.8824 and the angle is 62 once you do that you multiply it by 2 to equal 124 then Another example is intersecting chords. The formula is, is A times B equals C times D. There's an example. Um, here's another example. So you put you put the 8 and X together and equals to 20 times 6. Then you drop it down to 8X equals 120 because you times a 20 and 6 then you divide then you divide it by 8 so 8 into 120 will equal to 15 and there's your answer another example is intersecting tangent here's a diagram okay. to solve this diagram you must use a squared plus b squared equals c squared so it would be x squared plus 5 squared equals 9 squared. We get the 9 squared from adding 5 and 4 together. Then it's x squared plus 25 equals 81. Then you turn it into a two-step equation. So you minus 25 on both sides, you get x squared equals 56. Then you get x equals squared 56. Another example is intersecting secants. Here is an example. Another example is circumference. Here is a diagram. We know that the radius is 5.3 so we are going to use a formula t equals 2 times pi times r. 
So by substituting it, we would get c equals 2 times pi times 5.3. From that, we would get c equals 10.6 cm. To find the area of a circle, we know the diameter is 12, so half of that will be the radius, which is 6. So the formula we're going to use is pi times r to the second. So it would be a equals pi times 6 to the second. From 6 to the second equals 36, so we times it by pi, and we will get 113.10 cm to the second. Another example is arc length. This is a diagram. To solve this diagram, this is what we must do. 30 over 360 equals 1 over 12. From that, we must t multiply 4 times pi. And we would get about 0 0.33 pi. A sector of area, it is a 90 degree angle. So you put it, divide it over 360 times pi times r to the second. <clears throat> this would be our answer.